Thank the Speaker. I want to clear up one misconception, that somehow there was a block of us who were denying the ability to have a rule on the floor uh, with respect to FISA 702. The fact is, the question was, there was going to be a rule for something called Queen of the Hill, in which two bills would have been put forward with no amendments, none. There would have been no debate on the House floor. There would have been no ability to amend it here on the floor. As usual, it would have been the people who say they're the only ones who know the information needed to make the decisions for the American people, to do it in a committee behind closed doors, often in the skiff, without half of us knowing any of the information, and then bring it to the floor and say, take it or leave it. That was what was going to occur. And we said we shouldn't do it that way, that what we should do is bring in a, a bill to the floor that would reform FISA, allow us to offer amendments, have a debate on the warrant requirements, have a debate on who it applies to, and decide whether or not we're going to actually protect the civil liberties of the American people. But instead, no, no, what we're going to do is pile on an extension of FISA on the back of our defense authorization, that is on the back of our men and women in uniform, we're going to allow it to be extended and the procedures extend until April of 2025. That is what your people's house is going to do. I yield nine